Hi, this is Greg with CalendarSnack.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to insert an RSVP button into a SendGrid marketing template to send a calendar invite. Uh, today is May 9th, 2021. So to get started to create a calendar snack, it's super simple. All you do is use your Outlook or Google Calendar Client. We do not provide you a calendar client. Use your own, and all you have to do is copy us at createacalendarsnack.com. There's no other logins. There's nothing else to do. It's super simple. That's all you need to actually execute to get a calendar snack. So you see here on the left, this is my calendar. I set up an event with all the good information in it. And then on step number two, I received a calendar snack. This whole process here only took about 30 seconds. So I encourage you to give it a try and to experiment with it. If you actually create a calendar event um, and you send it to us and it's wrong, just go get another one. Nothing more to do. Uh, to delete us out of our service, all you do is delete it off your calendar. It's that simple. So with that said, we're going to dive right into how to get the code for SendGrid. So at the top of the icons in your calendar snack, when you open it up, um, you'll see four buttons at the top. You go to send here as indicated by the arrow. You could go down here and grab the grab and go code from SendGrid or for SendGrid. You'll copy it. This is the code here. It copies it to the clipboard. You're going to go into your email marketing template here. This is the one provided by SendGrid. Um, you're going to paste the RSVP SendGrid code into it. Uh, here is an example I mocked up here and actually used for the demonstration. Um, I developed my button and then in the button URL you paste our code into it just by using the copy paste command. It's that simple. Um, when you send out your uh, SendGrid campaign, as this case here, I received this invitation into my email box. And you'll see that I click the button, and when I click the button here in the SendGrid template um, to get the RSVP, I'm sent to a landing page, and it tells me the calendar invitation has been sent. So what happens in the background is we send a calendar invitation here. Uh, this is the RSVP itself. I said yes. And on the calendar snack reporting engine here on count, if you go back into it as the administrator, and the user of the calendar snack, you'll see that um, I sent out a uh, test invite to three people, uh, Bob, Greg, and Ted. Um, and the source of the email campaign itself was SendGrid. I responded yes to the uh, calendar invitations that were sent to me. And for the purpose of this particular report, I'm showing you the tracking here. Now, there is something else in which you can use, which is part of the service, called Calendar Lander. And in the dashboard itself, there is a uh, send function, as I showed you in the previous slide. And um, in that send function, there's something called the multiple event landing page. So if you want to promote your uh, event, uh, um, other than using the embedded RSVP buttons for various email vendors, you can use this, which is what we call a calendar lander. And what the calendar lander is, is your multiple event landing page. We keep track of everything that you sent us and recreate a multiple event landing page. So in this case here, I copied it. It's a URL. I pasted it and I sent it out as an example um, to um, a couple people. And you can see that when Ted put his email address in, he sent himself an RSVP. So under the RSVP, he also sent himself a, RSV or a calendar invitation for the IoT webinar. He said yes to that webinar. You see that here when Ted said uh, send here uh, under click. I'll go back one to show you. Apologize. Um, Ted clicked here and he was sent the calendar invitation itself here. And in the back end of our system, you'll see that um, there were three invitations sent via SendGrid. And this one here shows it was sent to Ted via the multiple event landing page.